Greetings. I've returned with a tutorial on close range melee and PvP. So I'm a little shocked that I didn't even cover this beforehand as most PvP VR chat users would love to know how to do this. Again, please refer to the guide to understand the basics, the layers, and etc. It's it's gonna be there, but it's gonna require a little bit of previous understanding, so please check it out. I will be posting a link within the uh, guide on the download link for the melee uh, Parkle system I'm using. Otherwise, it's something you could recreate if you really don't want to. But preferably download it. Alright, so we're going to start off with a weapon of your choice. So I'm going to use this chainsaw from Warhammer. And I should probably actually get the skin for it real fast apologies there you go there now it looks pretty all right so you got yourself a chain sword right here uh it's a little longer than you probably wanted but i just slapped it on real fast just for this tutorial First things first, download that prefab that's going to be linked in this section or go into the downloads uh, uh, section of the guide. You're wanting to download this Parkle system called Melee System or new or whatever I'm going to name it, but just download the Melee System. It's going to be labeled as such. Once you download it, uh, toss it onto your thing. Um, I'm going to put it on the base. You could put it on your skeleton, which would be wise. But I know it's just, I just even just normally toss it here. Alright. So, the reason why we're tossing here, because we can just quite literally... It should still move. And we put a rendering... You move this thing it does move with it so don't worry about that just make sure you add a parent constraint out here or you slap it onto the bone system and all of it should move anyways we're not supposed to have you know please do not have rendering on make sure rendering's off the reason why the rendering doesn't even have a material is so it doesn't want to use material slots like blah 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 anyways once you slap it onto the thing you wish to have it on like example i want it on there slam it over here And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to shape it up. So, as you see right here, the shape tab, I have it open. We're going to go down to either shape gizmo, which I recommend, or you guys are probably going to shape it via this thing, which is a little annoying, so I recommend here. And I repeat, please do not use this because you're also upscaling or downscaling or smashing or increasing or stretching, whatever. You, you are manipulating the uh, collision and particles themselves. Please refer to the shape here and shape it via here, okay? So we're going to shape it as big as this chain sword is. So I'm going to make sure I get everything, the nook and crannies and all. Right like this. About there. I mean, if you want to get a little precise, go ahead. But I just get it at least the shape of the chain sword. Around there and then don't forget your width because this is ridiculous i'm also going to right there all right so i've shaped it it's just about as big as the chainsword is it's perfect and it's already got everything you need you're just gonna be in walkthrough there's something else you need to be in because, you know, you're wielding around, there's no way it's a bullet, and it's going to go through anything. It's a melee. If you whack it around, it's going to hit somebody. Of course, it's an collision. There's no rendering, because it's invisible, because you're trying to mimic a melee. And make sure that the simulation to space is local, because if you make it not local, you're, you're having this weird trail, and it's not good. Alright, continuing. If you want to edit this Parkle system and allow it to increase, let's say you have, this is right now what we have is a standard infantry. 
Or even just higher infantry. This is just your standard default melee. Let's say you have a personal or an HR and you're like, well, they're melee based and I kind of want them to chunk harder. Theoretically, it's not really going to be too noticeable, but you can amp this up to 7,000. And that's about as much as you can get it to. Now, there's other ways to make it a little chunkier. It's like the leader has a chunkiest amount of melee, but we won't discuss that. And I feel as though if I were to explain it, then people will use it. And that's not the goal of it. The goal of this is to provide a melee system, to have it fair, etc. Now, let's go back. Again, this is what. Chainsword would look like if it were have to uh, have this melee system on it, right? If it's to here, let's say, oh, I don't want chainsword. I think chainswords are stupid, right? Okay, um, this one has a hammer, so let me grab my hammer. On this hammer, I have it so the melee system is right here. It's covering a large area because I'm a leader model. I kind of want a little more of an edge, so it hurts a little more. So here's what it covers. Normally you wanted to cover just the head area. But again, leader models, they kind of have a bit of more edge. So let's shape it up here. That would be a perfect area or a little more shrinkier for a uh, hammer. Let's put it back. Oh, and let's say you have something that's a little more complex. Let's go over to the Custodians, Terminator. Terminators have this here. Let's check out what their melee systems are at. So we have a melee system up here. Shape right here so you can stab somebody. They have a melee system right here because that's their blade. They also have a melee system right here because they can back poke people so again you can do a lot with this you put on knives pointed edges etc i think there is a way to make it so it's on the mesh but truly it does not matter as long as it's in the correct area you keep it close then it's fine then it's fair and it accommodates to the melee systems all right that's it uh Subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever. If you want more of this, comment below. Any suggestions? If you have any like issues, I can see if I can aid. Otherwise, see you next time. On the last really crucial note, I forgot to add to the last video. When you apply your melee system, you slap it on a model. It is extremely crucial to understand. You need to is local this. I've already explained what an is local is. It's uh, but I can give a nutshell here for those who are uh, confused. Is local is essentially, it doesn't hurt you, it still hurts them. It's self-damage. Uh, to know how to deal with self-damage in the, the guide, there should be a link somewhere. If not, please comment below about it. But make sure you go to your animations, you record your is local, turn off your collision. Ignore the fact that it's not on my avatar, but please turn off the collision because you're going to have a lot of issues. All right, see you.